Welcome back to Daydreams of Quilts on YouTube. Today is the last day of our Canada Day bench pillow project and we will be putting on the back of our pillow today. I'm going to be doing a zipper back so it's slightly different than the pattern instructions. So if you would like to put a zipper on the back of your pillow instead of an envelope back, that's what we'll be doing today. Okay, thanks for joining me. Okay, so I've got my finished pillow top, which is 17 inches by 38 inches for mine. I just measured it. And I'm just using up some fat quarters from my bundle. So I've got this one and this one for the back of the pillow. And then I've cut a small strip, a two and a half inch strip from another fat quarter that I had and I folded it in half and ironed it. And I've got an 18 inch zipper, which is wide enough to get across my pillow and have some to trim off. So my method is gonna be different than the one in the pattern uh, because I've done the envelope back on a large pillow like this before and when I have to wash it, I have to take the pillow form out and I keep finding that I'm ripping my pillow. So this, I'm gonna try with the zipper on this one and see if that works better for me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sew the zipper to this fabric. So I'm gonna just trim this and uh, clip the zipper with clips and sew it with the right side of the zipper to the right side of the fabric. Okay, so I'm just clipping with Wonder Clips, just lining up the edge of the zipper tape with the fabric, and I'm clipping it all the way down. And again, the right side of the zipper is against the right side of the fabric. So clip all the way down. Then I'm gonna to go to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter inch, well, it won't be quite a quarter inch because you can't get quite over, you don't wanna to be too close to the zipper teeth. So a scant quarter inch. And then um, I will flip the fabric out and press it and then I will top stitch. So I'll show you that. Okay, so I just got my regular presser foot on my machine. If you want to use a zipper foot, you can do that. I'm just moving my zipper head down out of the way. And I'm just gonna start up here. And I basically just put my presser foot right alongside the zipper teeth. And then I'm gonna just slide my zipper pull past my presser foot. Okay, so that's one side of the zipper. So now I'm gonna just press right here Press along this seam with my iron just to get it nice and tidy and then I will come back and top stitch. Okay so I've got it all pressed and this is the back. So I'm just going to top stitch. I'm, I am using a 28 weight. I think that's what it all, it's called. Yeah 28 weight or fell in the top thread and just a regular 50 weight in the bottom, just so I can have a, a thicker thread on the top just to make my top stitching show up. I could probably get past this zipper head, but I'm gonna just slide it myself. So I'm just stitching with an eighth of an inch seam. Okay, and so that's the first part of the zipper. 
Now we're going to do the second part. Okay, so this part, this little strip, is going to be what covers our zipper and makes it hidden. Um, normally you'd be using all one fabric, but I don't mind having a scrappy back on the back of my pillow. So the first thing we're going to do is put this strip over the zipper and line it up along the edge of the zipper. And then the other half of our pillow back is going to go down face down on top of that. And we're going to clip it all together and sew the same as we did. And then we'll flip this out, press it and top stitch. So I'll get it clipped together. So it's all clipped together. So we've got the first half of the pillow back right side up. We've got our strip that's covering the zipper. And then we've got the second half of the pillow right side down. So they're all layered together like that and clipped. So I'm gonna just slide that zipper head out of the way down a few inches. I've just stitched over the open end of my zipper just to hold it together because I need to slide that zipper head down out of the way. So just so everything stays in place, I've stitched that open end of the zipper together. And now I'm going to sew, I'm gonna flip it this way so I can see where my zipper is. this excess is going to be trimmed off but now I've got that sewn I am now going to flip out this half but I'm gonna leave the the strip that's covering the zipper over the zipper just flip this side out and press right along here and then we'll top stitch right along there okay so I've just slid my zipper down out of the way a little bit And a top stitch right an eighth of an inch from the seam. Move my zipper back behind where I've already been. Okay, so there we go. Our zipper is hidden. Now I'm just gonna layer this with the pillow top and put the whole thing together. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my pinwheels off so they don't get all crushed and mangled when we turn the pillow. So there's the pillow top and now I'm just gonna lay the pillow back right over it, flip it over so I've got a little bit extending from all sides except for on the end here which is fine I will just trim all of this off once I have sewn it all down I'm also going to open the zipper so that I can turn it right side out through the zipper and also so the zipper head is out of the way and isn't going to get caught by my needle and break my needle so I'm just going to pin or clip and then just sew all the way around the perimeter with a quarter inch seam twice just to reinforce that seam okay so I've pinned and clipped I'm gonna 
going to sew with a quarter inch seam. When we get to the zipper, just make sure that your zipper cover is folded over your zipper because you're going to sew right across it and just be careful sewing over your zipper. You need a nylon zipper for this obviously because a metal one will break your needle. So just leave your needle down at the corners and just lift your presser foot and pivot your pillow top. Okay, we're back to the zipper, so I'm just gonna make sure that that is laying flat and so slowly okay. so I've gone all the way around twice just to make sure that that seam is strong I am now going to trim off the excess backing and I'm using some strong sturdy scissors that can cut through my zipper. I'm not going to use my best fabric shears. So I'm going to trim all the way around and I'm also going to trim off the corners so that they're, they can be nice and pushed out and square when we get it turned right side out. So now that it's all trimmed, I'm going to turn it right side out through the zipper. And just use my fingers to poke out the corners. There we go. And I'll just zip up the back. And there is the pillow back with the zipper closed. And the front. So I can stick my little pinwheels back on. Um, the pillow form that you're going to need to make for this is quite large. But just follow the instructions. Basically, you just need to cut two rectangles of muslin the same size as your pillow top and sew them together and leave an opening for stuffing and stuff it full of stuffing and you'll have your pillow top. I'm going to see if I have any bed pillows that will fit in here rather than making a pillow form. So thanks for sewing along with me. Have a great Canada Day 2020. Thanks for sewing along with me today. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you're sharing your pillow, if you sewed along with me. I'm at Daydreams of Quilts on Instagram. And don't forget to click like on the on this video. It really helps my channel out. And um, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tutorial videos from Daydreams of Quilts.